Hello and welcome to episode 180 of the Psycho Maker's favorite podcast, Whammy Award winning FedCast, the Fox News of the IWC, coming to you from inside the Fed Zone. <laughs> My name is Steven, with me as always. Justin. And we're here to talk to you about the wacky world of wrestling for the week of March 21st, 2016. Right. Yes. Episode so, 180. Yes. Um, so You're loopy. Uh, yeah, I'm starting off the show by letting everybody know uh, this past weekend was Toronto Comic Con, which I have to work with my place of business, as I've mentioned many times before, Planet X. Uh, these involve 16-hour days of me standing, lifting, all that kind of horrible shit, so... I'm not going to lie, I'm not awake right now, so whatever I say, just take it with a grain of salt, because I'm just trying my hardest. But you I'm think after. he couldn't remember things before. Yeah, now I'm not even going to remember what wrestling is, so just just be prepared that this is going to be a particularly bad episode with me trying to remember stuff. So that'll be fun. Yeah. Uh, we'll start off with TNA. Yes. Your favorite subject. <laughs> And again, it's not that bad. I know, bad. it's not, not that it, bad but anymore. Unfortunately, though, the show is <laughs> getting to the point where some of the... It's getting so bad it's good in places. Um, also, the fact that people left. What? Oh, I forgot. On top of the fact that you don't open a vlog. Yeah. Or a blog, if you will. Uh-huh. You were working all weekend. Yeah. So you don't know I, this, I probably. shit. Because so. Steve doesn't like to read the internet. Steve didn't get a chance to. Usually I try to before today, but I really didn't get a chance. Fair play. Yes. Two people. Uh-huh. <clears throat> yeah, the, the TNA's been doing their tapings, yeah, like yeah. they do, uh-huh. putting everything in the can. Sure. And two people were uh, done okay. as of these tapings. Okay. Oh, right, yeah. That would be one Bobby Roode uh-huh. and one Eric Young. Yes, this I did hear Yeah. About. Yeah. So... Oops. <laughs> Those are two guys you don't want to just let go. Yeah, you would think. But seeing that they're straight up two originals. Yep. Two people who've been there pretty much, much from, from the beginning from, from the go. The jump, yeah. Yeah, they 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 left. Um yeah. I think Bobby Roode even went as far as saying that it's stale, which is not helping anybody. But at the same time, he's not wrong. Not that he's incorrect. No. It's just that on your way out, you just yeah. go, by the way, these guys... And, well, mm. here's the thing, though. <laughs> and you leave. In, in all fairness, when you're Bobby Roode, you can say whatever the fuck you want, because guess what? They will offer him a contract. Like, he oh, wants to I, come back, oh, it no. will happen. The minute I, uh... The minute I saw this, yeah. I took the Twitter. Yeah. Not that anyone notices. No. Not that I really noticed. I honest. didn't even notice either. Uh, I wrote immediately that mm-hmm. WWE needs to sign these two guys. Yes. Possibly pair them with Kevin Owens and maybe start up a Team Canada. Yes, they do. They <laughs> absolutely do. Or something. They yeah. To, either way, they need to sign these two yeah. guys and like, bring them in yeah. right now. If, if WWE is paying any attention, which I, I'm guessing they are. You want to keep building that NXT brand? Yeah. like Eric Young and Bobby what you, Roode. What you do, you, you t- they, they call up their buddy Austin Aries and be like, hey... How would you like to do some kind of uh, New World Order angle? Either in fucking way. Fucking NXT. Any you know what kind I mean? of angle, whatever. I mean, it's going to get easier. Yeah. For WWE to get these TNA guys mm-hmm. to NXT because NXT's got some Moa Joe. They yep. got Austin Aries. Yep. I mean, they had James Storm, but James Storm. James Storm. Him. I think he was just. But if those money. two guys can just uh-huh. say, hey, yeah. you want to come over here mm-hmm. and play for the, this play team? Play for this team, yeah. We can we can get a legit then, brand going because then once those guys sign up, mm-hmm. it'll be easier to get the next couple. Yeah, guys. it'll the, be easier next couple. Basically, guys. It, once they once they gra- if they nab these two, then the next guys like anybody who leaves TNA and WWE is even remotely interested in, they'll be over there immediately. Like I think the only guy who's going to be left out in the cold is uh, poor Mister Anderson, who <sighs> does not work for them anymore and is really pissed at them, but he's got nowhere to go. As long as Randy Orton's still in that company. Well, because Mr. Anderson likes pills. Um The hell you say. So yeah, he was he's we've failed to mention that a, yeah. oh, a couple weeks ago yeah. as well. He's also gone because he pulled the Jeff Hardy yeah. and showed up messed up, mm-hmm. wrestled and messed up. Yep. So bad that they couldn't even use the match. Thank God it was uh-huh. at a taping so yeah. they can just bury it and mm-hmm. they'll never see the light of day. Yeah. And then had the gall. I know. The yeah. fucking gall I can't to even... lead an indie wrestling crowd I... in a fuck TNA chant. You know what? I've been a defender of Mr. Anderson for a long time. I can't defend this. 
I, I just you know like, what, bud? No, I can't defend this. You know what, bud? Mm. I get it. Mm-hmm. You're mad. That yeah. You got okay. From sure. another wrestling company. Yeah. This time it was on you. Yeah. Last time, yeah, that was some shitbag who had way too much clout. Yeah. And got you kicked out. Yeah. Like you should not have been fired from WWE because Ken Everyone Kennedy can say was that. one of the hottest things in professional really was. wrestling. Really was, and that and, and you, he could have went to the fucking top with yep, that gimmick. Yep, and I mean, yeah, okay, you shouldn't open your mouth, and yeah, it, you were fired incorrectly. No arguments there. Here, this on you, bud. You know, it's all you substance man. abuse. Yeah. I mean, it's all hearsay. You never know. Let's face it, you ain't Jeff Hardy as well. But. Jeff Hardy can get away with that. Whether he should have, that's a different story altogether. But he can get away with it because he's you know, Jeff Hardy. I don't know what I don't know about all the story. No, this is all hearsay, allegedly dirt sheet stuff. But yep. from what I hear, Eric Young wasn't too happy with it because he was the <laughs> other guy in the ring. Yeah, because that's not safe. No, that's that's going yeah, out there. That's, whether it's that's whatever, the thing. whatever he was on pills, booze, yeah, whatever, whatever it was, whatever substance he was using. Yeah. Like, you know just, what? You can't climb in a wrestling no. ring and wrestle. No, you should not That's be doing why that. Sting, yeah. Mm-hmm. The fucking professional that he was was yeah. all right. Punch, mm-hmm. punch, punch. Yeah. Roll up one, two, three. Hold him down. Yeah. Shoot. Like he did not. Yeah, he didn't let Jeff get up. He didn't let this happen because, for Jeff's sake. Yeah. Not even for his no, own sake. No. Because he knew Jeff was like, I'm gonna try a swanton. Yeah. Ugh. No. You will break your fucking neck, buddy. You know we've seen that. Yes. You know, we all remember Rico yelling, Jeff! <laughs> Jeff! Jeff! And then Jeff going, huh? Ah, oh, fuck. it's my cue! Yeah, Fall! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. So you, you don't know, need that. And, you know, not that Ken Anderson was a high flyer and he'd do all that kind no, of shit. No, but, but still, know. he picks people up. You, you know, know he what picks mean? people up and he could slay. You could get just... dropped on your head so easily and that's just not safe. So with him being gone mm-hmm. and this being the second yep. person to do that yep. under whoever's watch... You, you, and then them just letting yep. Bobby Roode yep. and Eric Young walk. This is... Without even trying. Yeah, without even being like, hey, let's work. Like they, let's they let let's them walk something. like they let AJ walk. Yep. Like, it's like just, they let Samoa Joe walk. Yeah. Like they let Austin Aries mm-hmm. walk. Like you can't just let guys like this no. walk. No, like these guys are the backbone of your company. Because then eventually, as good as guys like maybe Drew Galloway will be, they're not good enough to hold up your company. No, I mean, I understand you want to build new stars and that's how you keep going, but... You need a few old guys in there. Like, you know, uh, Kurt Angle's gone. Kurt Angle's another one who's Kurt gone. Kurt Angle's gone. So who do you have left as your old guard? Abyss? Abyss? I'm sorry. I love Abyss. He's great, but he can't hold up a company. I guess at this point now, the Hardys? The Hardys, I guess. Be... Um, James Storm. James Storm, I assume yeah. he's going into the... But where's the... Beer Money? Beer uh-huh. Money's gone now, so there's that. I mean, everything else is young. And I mean, even then, like, as much as you want to say the Hardys, like, they're old guard in a sense of they're, they're older guys, but they're not, you know, big. Especially TNA backbone. Yeah, like, like they're not Joe TNA and backbone. AJ and yeah. Eric Young. Like, all these Austin guys Aries were fucking, all yeah. TNA guys like, these were the, for years. Yeah, these were the TNA guys, and they've let them all go. But the Hardy boys, what, five years in the company, maybe? Jeff, yes. Yeah. Matt, a Matt year? Was just, yeah, Matt was just at it again. Yeah. So he, he's been in and out. He's been in and out, but I mean, and in all fairness, Matt, if they would are... Would you if be any, shocked <laughs> if, T- if WWE is just like, hey, you guys want to do one last run? I would... They could do that tomorrow. They could do that right after WrestleMania because you know that well, there's, there's going to be... Well, there's a contract. <laughs> well, yeah, but... Once a contract, though. Yeah, because, you know, Vince can't buy out that contract. Um... <laughs> like, that's the thing. Like, if they actually are starting to put on a, a tag division in WWE, you're damn right they're going to give a shout to the Hardys. Because why wouldn't you? Right? Well, in a world where you can bring back the Dudleys. That's you can right. bring back the Hardys. Bring back the Hardys. You can have the Dudleys talk to the Hardys. Yeah. Go, yeah, we came back, guys. And, uh-huh. well, you can say whatever the Dudley boys have been forgotten or whatever. They're probably doing exactly what they want. They're still do. getting a fucking paycheck. They are. And they're going to be at WrestleMania. Yep. Whether it's on the pre-show or not, who doesn't knows? matter. They're still getting that paycheck. They're still getting that money. They're getting that WrestleMania money, which is better on the pre-show is better than every other show main eventing for Christ's sakes. Yeah. Like so, WrestleMania I mean, is a deal. So yeah, there is a chance. As much and, as TNA <coughs> is showing a little bit of promise, they're letting a lot of shit when you slip let, through the cracks. When you, let, when you let guys like this walk, yeah, it hurts your brand. It really it, does. It makes your brand look. Bush League yeah. makes your brand look like, oh, people don't want to be here. Yeah, like, I mean, and it's not Because like it's these... overpay issue. Yeah. That's why they left. Yeah. It was over because they weren't being paid enough. Yeah. And, I mean, that's 
that's unacceptable when it comes to those guys. Like, you know, chip a couple bucks off the Hardy fund. Not there's that I don't no, love the Hardys, but... Like, there's they no pension plan. Yeah, that's true. There's no retirement no. in wrestling. Nope. It's not like you retire and you get a fucking check for the rest of your life. Mm-mm. You gotta make your paper yep. now. They gotta make all of the money they can Before, while their bodies are physically able to do Because when that body so. says, that's it, time to tap out permanently you're done you need to make sure you're financially set mm-hmm. for the rest of your life because guess what yep there's no fucking union check coming no. your way i mean why do you think and it's not that they don't love it but why do you think edge and christian are doing the edge and christian show because it's a paycheck whether they need it edge probably doesn't need it edge is probably pretty good well they're doing christian that for might, fun yeah but, but at the same it, time they're doing it money. for money it's you money. know what i mean because again they don't get a pension that's it we're done here like they don't get a pension neither one can wrestle anymore so what they've basically been doing their entire lives, they can't do anymore. They will jump at anything to get money. And yeah. it's not like it's not a bad thing by any stretch. I mean, no. again, they get to go back to the company they love and do something that they love to do. It's not wrestling, but it's a side of it that they love to do. Great. Not everybody gets that that deal, you know what I mean? Like, put it this way. <coughs> Zack Ryder, probably not going to do much once he's done in the ring. Mm-hmm. Or, you know what, he's probably a bad example. Fandango. Johnny Curtis. Once he's done. Yeah. He's not going into movies. He's not going back to WWE. So, yeah, he's going to work on a uh, fucking main event because he'll get a paycheck. Yep, he's and then he'll save it. his money. Exactly. Save your money. So, but going back to the original point, yeah, TNA, you can't you can't let guys like this walk. No. Find the money somewhere. Tap fucking Billy Corgan. The guy's got money up the ass. He'll help you out. And, he, and I'm sure he's probably kicking himself going, why didn't anyone ask me? Like, well, I would never let these guys go. Because he yeah. actually does know the wrestling business pretty well. And he realizes, yeah. yeah EY and Bobby Roode. You know, backbones of the company. You know. Might want to keep them around. it's not like, they don't even, the funny thing is, those guys don't even need to go to WWE. No. Eric Young doesn't even need to wrestle. No. Eric Young has fucking. He's got he's a got, million things going around. He's got hunting and fishing yeah. shows he can do for the rest he's of his got, life. He's set. Like, Eric Young is good. Bobby Roode, I guarantee you, has invested all of his money very wisely. They and probably Bobby don't Roode need to. Bobby can make money yeah. wrestling on the weekends. He you know really what I'm saying? could. Yeah, he's, so. he's good. I mean, put it this way. He's got, I guarantee you, Bobby Roode's got an open invitation to Ring of Honor. Yeah. Like, he's got a place to go. Neither, but that's the thing. That's the other thing that TNA has to look at. They would rather walk out of your company because you won't pay them enough without another job. WWE didn't call them as far as we know. Yeah. Fucking it's not like they're leaving to go to yeah. WWE. They left no, because they left they're like, oh, we can go wrestle House of Hardcore yeah. on the weekends or whatever. Smash Wrestling yeah, or... Anything. You know, Order City Wrestling. Anything. Anything. And, like, that's the thing. Alpha if they're one, willing to literally leave CZW, your, quote-unquote, big company for, you know... Indies. Indies, you fucked up somewhere. Yeah. That is some. That is some bad, bad work. That is just stupid. Unbelievably so, stupid. Unfortunate. Yes. But we get to the, the episode mm-hmm. from this week. Yep. Jeff BDY in the opening match. Mm-hmm. Well done there. Sure. Uh, before the match started, Dixie Carter made it a number one contenders match. All right. So the winner of this match gets put into the Matt Hardy EC3 match at the end of the mm-hmm. night. So Jeff won. Yep. Matt comes out, mm-hmm. bribes him, says, yeah. listen... You don't have to fight tonight. The match will happen. Come on, Uncle Jeff uses the kid. The kid. That <laughs> that made me laugh so hard because he's just like, yeah, like here, Uncle Jeff, that has a great sound to it. I'm sorry, you didn't tell him before? Like, <laughs> he's not aware that he has a nephew? Uh, that's a little weird. Because I love how they're in the middle of a sh- like a promo, but yeah. he shoot grabs his nephew. Yeah. He's like, come here, buddy. Yeah, yeah. well, no, they told him the to. He's... No, she told him to. She says, like, yeah, hold the kid. I'm like. Okay, so they're back to using their kid as a prop again. Yeah, but it's not like, I'm not going to hold the kid. I'm not yeah. Uncle Jeff. No, he's just like, it's okay, like, yeah, yeah, yeah all right. I'm Uncle Jeff. I love this well, kid. Well, that's the thing. Like, that's, that's, that's where the shoot comes in. You're like, well, this is fucking stupid. Because, yeah, he's not going to turn away from holding his nephew. That's just weird. Yeah. You know? So he's like, yeah, he's holding the I love the, the child. Just has no yeah. idea. Like, like, why uh, is Uncle Jeff have paint, face paint on? Yeah, why is Uncle Jeff so colorful? Where'd this come from? Uh, Either way, yeah. Of course, Jeff turns it down. Says, "I'm going to be in the match, and mm-hmm. I'm going to win." Although I did love the fact that Matt, like, was just like, "Come on, you know, this is how it's got to be. You know, it's the right thing to do." And Jeff's like, "Jeff literally goes, no, I'm not going to take that. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to fight you for the title." And then J- Matt completely ignores it and just goes, "Jeff, shake my hand. You know, it's the right thing to do." I'm like, "Motherfucker, <laughs> he already answered you. Yeah, what the hell." Ugh. It was a weird, awkward promo, man. Yeah, it was. 
So the decay beat down Eddie Edwards because Dave mm. Richards isn't around because he hurt himself. Mm. I forget on which. T-